Okay, Luke Swords boss fight. This has a really unique gimmick. So now your health will be represented by that bar on the top. And whenever he turns into a die, you cannot do anything. So my advice to you, hop away. Just keep hopping. Forget about Luke Sword. Ow. And if he attacks you, you can't do anything. So just wait until what's it called your drive meter depletes or well, your die meter depletes. <laughs> and just what's it called, um, just keep hopping. Crap. So yeah, you also gotta worry about your health on the top as well as your health bar normally. So what's it called? As soon as that's done, attack the cards and then attack Luke Sword at will. So yeah, that's mainly my main strategy for Luke Sword. This guy isn't necessarily that hard, but he can be hard for first timers and well, people who don't really know strategy a lot. Crap. Dang it, dang it. Crap. Alright, come on, let's get a good combo on him. Booyah. Well, let's also go for the heal because what's it called? We were low on health. Crap. Oh, whoa! Oh, now we gotta find which one's the correct. There he is. Nice, perfect, first try. But yeah, when that happens, just find out who, um, which one's Luke's sword and flip the card over. Not that hard, but st okay. Um, I have no. There he is. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, camera angle. Come on. Let's go for limit. Ah, uh, which one's which? No, that's not it. Crap, that was a bomb. There he is! Come on, Sonic Rave, dude, something, do some wonders! Thank you, Limit Form, just for doing all this for me. Booyah! And one more Sonic Rave, just because we have the MP for it. Booyah! Let's go. And wow, what's the color drive form depleted? Okay, that was some perfect timing. And. But what? Oh crap, we did it! I have no idea what we even did, but we did something! Come on, come on! Luke Sword's almost dead! What the heck? Oh crap, it's... Oh man, that's right, I hate this part. Yeah, do not step on any of the cards because they will attack you. And you might just want to jump around and just dot the cards in general. Ow, ow. Ow. Uh. Crap, whoa. Dang it! Ah, that's right, that turns you into die crap. Yep, like I said, just hop away. Hop away. Don't even try attacking him, just keep hopping, keep hopping. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do do. Luke Sword, you douchebag. No one likes you, and hopefully you're not back in Kingdom Hearts 3. Let me go for that heal because I really desperately, I desperately needed it. Booyah! And. Oh crap, we couldn't do that move. Come on, yes! And Luke Sword's defeated, we got the next Magna Element, nice. So yeah, that's how you defeat Luke Sword. Yet again, Freddy, take note again. How could you, Roxas? That's Sora! You okay? Yeah, no worries. Let's keep moving. Alright, Luke Sword is defeated, one pain in my ass out of the way, let's go for the next one. Back to the proof of existence, we go. That was another really pointless cutscene, I have no idea why even what to call them, went, went blank for that. So that's the Gambler of Fate, time to take on the Luna Diviner. Um, crap, Sykes. Uh, I always forget his name for some odd reason, blah.
Only you could have made it this far in one piece, Roxas. That's really getting old. Yeah, he's slower. Different name, same fate. Alright, let's do this. Saix uses his Claymore for attacking, and he votes called goes Berserk like those nobodies we've been fighting all the time. So yeah, you see that meter on the top? That's his Berserk meter. When that meter fills, he will attack like no tomorrow. I recommend picking up those Claymores, what's it called, so you can avoid damage and will actually stand a chance at attacking him. Like I'm, well, not really doing. And I just used the heal when Donald just did, so that was so pointless, but yep. Alright, we got the Claymore. Wait. Let's see if we can attack him, and we're doing damage! Yes! We knocked him right out of his Berserk state. Let's keep attacking him. Come on. Quickly. Uh, let's get this. Ah, uh, crap. Right over here. Perfect. And thank you, Dom, for that heal again. Really needed that. Come on. <laughs> we knocked the Claymore right out of his hands. Perfect. Okay, yeah. What's it called? Berserking at him won't really do a lot of damage to him normally. So, yeah, I recommend what's it called just mostly using attacks in general. Because what's it called? It'll, it'll do the more damage, plus, it'll get the job done. Unless his Berserk Meter goes up, in that case, you might want to, well, panic and start actually thinking about a real strategy. So, where's that Claymore again? It disappeared. Oh, no. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Come on. Ow. Ooh, Claymore. Thank you, Saix, for the Claymore. I will use it wisely. And right over here. Knock him right out of the Berserk State, hopefully. There we go. Uh, let's take him on. Ow, ow, ow. Saix, you douche. Yep, douchebag. Come on. Oh crap, his, his Berserk Mirror is filling up again. Oh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Uh, we missed. Come on before. Oh no. Run away. Let me just heal again. Hey, Saix. Uh, yeah, no hard feelings, right? Let's get that. The claim. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Alright, perfect. Knock him right out of his Berserk State yet again. Perfect. And now let's hopefully finish this guy off. Ow. <laughs> knocked it right out of his hands right uh, knocked it right out of his hands again. Blah. Couldn't even speak right there. And come on. Booyah! Nice. Right before you go into berserk mode. Sykes is defeated. Yeah. I feel accomplished. Kingdom Hearts. Where is my heart? I don't get it. Why has everybody been calling me Roxas? Because, Sora. Roxas is your nobody. My... nobody? But that's crazy. I never turn into a heart... Oh. Right. It was when you came to rescue me. Remember? Xemnas was the one who found Roxas. He could use the Keyblade because he was your nobody. That's why Xemnas brought him into the organization. But Roxas betrayed them. After that, I fought him because I thought it would help you wake up. I lost. But the next time we met, I made sure I was the stronger one.
Why don't you quit? Come on, Sora. I thought you were stronger than that. Huh? Get real. Look which one of us is winning. Uh. So it's true. You really are his nobody. Guess Diz was right after all. What are you talking about? I am me! Nobody else! How many times do I have to beat you? All right. You've left me with no other choice. What? I have to release the power in my heart. The dark power that I've been holding back. Even if it changes me forever. Accepted it. Diz, he could feel Sora. Oh, he told you how he felt, did he? Ridiculous. And nobody cannot feel anything. If he had met Sora, things might have been different. Maybe I didn't need to fight him after all. I think he left the organization because he really wanted to meet you. Roxas. I wish I could meet him too. Let's go. All right. So I the defeated. We got some more backstory on how Riku became Ansem's eager darkness. So apparently him and Roxas fought. Interesting. Okay, nevertheless, let's head back to the proof of existence, see what happens next. And that's pretty much all the organization members we can actually take out. All right, what's going to... Okay, yeah, to that door. So let's see what's gonna happen. Wait, what? Whoa! Okay, my analog stick just got like jammed for a second. Whoa, that was weird. So, yep, that's all the organization members. Except for Roxas and the leader Zemnis. Roxas is still wandering around, but yeah, just think about it. The entire organization built up of 13 nobodies. Two more remain, and they were all taken down by a, fi a 14 slash 15 year old. And yeah, two 14 slash 15 year olds Sora and Riku. Just let that let that sink in a little bit. These two kids defeated the entire organization. Just just let that sink in. Either way, after you guys let that sink in, let's go. To this place, wherever this leads. I don't know where this leads. Ansem? <laughs> I'm a fool. I spent years studying the workings of the heart. Yet it seems I still haven't learned a thing. What do you mean? 
the process of encoding hearts is incalculable. The inhabitants of my twilight town were data created from real hearts. I was convinced that they would think and behave the way I had envisioned, but I couldn't have been more wrong. A heart is so much more than any system. I saw it when Roxas and Kairi crossed paths. I knew, but I was too stubborn to accept it. It's always the same. I try to wrap my mind around things my heart already knows, only to fail. While I was trying to bring Sora back, I had so many plans in store. But once Sora was an acting force, they fell apart. All my research amounted to nothing compared with that one boy's heart. Ansem, a machine! All the more proof that hearts cannot be contained by data. Run, my friend. It's going to self-destruct, and anything could happen. What? Your Majesty! Sora, the rest is up to you. And Roxas, I doubt you can hear me, but I am sorry. Ansem! My heart is telling me what I must do. Please allow me to do what it says. No! Riku! His heart's decided. We can't change that. I was wondering who would dare interfere with my kingdom hearts. And look, here you all are. How convenient for me. Ansem the Wise. You look pathetic. Eviola, I deserve as much for failing to see you for the fool you are. Students do take after their teachers. Only a fool would be your apprentice. After all, none of this would have happened without you. You are the source of all heartless. It was your research that inspired me to go further than you ever dared. I admit, my disregard brought chaos to more worlds than one. But what were you seeking? You erased me from the world, only to take my name and continue research better left forgotten. Is this the answer you've been looking for? All that and more. I'm carrying on what you yourself began, and I'm creating a brand new world one heart at a time. I thought you'd praise me, but all you ever do is hold me back. I understand, though. Unlike me, you have a heart, and you're powerless to control it, consumed by the jealousy you feel toward the student who surpassed you. They are not. Foolish apprentice of a foolish man. You have surpassed nothing. Only proved how little we both know. We may profess to know the heart, but its essence is beyond our reach. We're both ignorant, as oblivious as when we began. I'm afraid that any world you try to create any world of yours would be an empire of ignorance. That is why you and your creation are destined to fall. We've said enough. Rico, you know what to do. King Mickey, my friend, forgive me. Farewell!